to be seen But I'm getting to know now, to know now Just 18, little black boy with a dream With the craziest mind and the lowest esteem Trying to find what happens at the highest esteem So I had a dream and a Hello folks, and welcome to what I believe is day of 12 days of Jip Jip and today I'm going to be ranking the top 10 cereals you know when you just wake up in the morning you feel like a good snack you want to get your day off to a good start so then you look in your cupboard see what there is and this is what I think are the best ones but coming in at number 10 is Bran Flakes right maybe I wouldn't have made people's top 10 list but they're okay, I mean they're only there if you're like last resort and they're like clean, you know only really there like if you have to eat them like they're a wee bit like I don't know they're just not great but they're also not terrible they're average, they're really really average so at number 9 I have gone for special K you go what's your thoughts on that the special clay, you know, it's, it's very, clay. Special clay. It's okay. It's, it's very underrated. And, it's uh, underrated. It's underrated, and I think nine's a suitable place for it. Nine, yeah, yeah. I think nine's a fair place for it. Yeah. Number eight, I've gone for porridge. Bit of a controversial one. People might not count it as cereal. You put it in a bowl, you have it for breakfast. For me, it counts. What's your opinions on but that? I have porridge every day. Porridge. It's very nice. I, to be I fair, mean, personally, it's my, personally it's nice my number well. one. But I understand. Number it's a, one. It's a bit, yeah, because I have it every day. Oh. But I can't be a bit Let's see what these think. Yo. Justin, Katie, what do you think of porridge? Love Stank porridge. You love porridge? Yeah. Yeah. With fruit though. In a mm -hmm. top 10 cereals list, do you think eight is a fair place? No. Yeah. yeah. No, for... Nine. Mm, like, nine? Uh, I feel wait, special kind of. No for special. Every morning. Every morning. Porridge Adam, like what do you think of porridge? Like Fucking ass. What do you think of porridge, Owen? Nice. So, mixed opinions on the porridge, but personally for me, I'd put it number eight. Right, coming in at number seven, just here. It's way back, um, There's 48. I prefer the Tesco one. It's a waste of money. Buy the Tesco one, it's cheaper. How much is this? Wait a minute. It's based on the taste. Yeah, like What's your opinions on it being number seven? No, no I, think, I think it should be higher. Wait a minute, it's the go to. You get it, dingy. It's quick. You know? Chris. Five Yes. Five quid, you see what I mean? Where's the Tesco one? One quid only nine. Folks, you know what to do. So these are coming in at number six, but these are actually coming in at minus 2.0. Why? Because they're Rice Krispies disgusting. Are they don't even exist. They're little bits they hurt your mouth. Crisp. But they're nice. They hurt your mouth. They're not. And they pop and then they like stick. Yeah, but yeah, for yeah. me, they're number six because the taste is good and the crunchiness they is nice. Have they do have a taste? No, they don't. Yeah, they do. They're not like go soggy after seven Yeah, and then exactly. they go soggy, but you don't let them go soggy. You eat them before they go soggy. The point? Look how small they are. Like, what's that going to do? That's not going to fill you. Right, that's just bad help. That is not going to fill you. <laughs> and your breakfast is meant to be the best meal of the day, and that's just not good. It's yeah. nice. Okay. Cool. Kitty's point of view. Right, for me personally, I'd put shredded wheat pie because of the crunchiness, and it's lovely to wake up to in the morning. Like, it's just really nice to, to eat. Yeah, it's good, good flavor, and it soaks up the milk really nice. At number four, we have <laughs> Shreddies. Now, apart from being a rather mundane and boring cereal in the mornings, I feel the Shreddies have an absolutely exquisite texture. <laughs> I blend excellently with milk. Personally, I like frosted shreddies and chocolate shreddies but when faced with the original flavour I like to spruce things up a bit with a couple douses of sugar, sugar. granulated sugar or on odd occasion icing sugar Number 3 it's cornflakes cornflakes are yes, great Daniel. it's like waking up the holy macaroni in your bed the crunchiness of cornflakes is really crispy when you take a bite you feel it you can feel the crispiness going down your bones two i have chocolate weedy bix now you cannot beat a good chocolate weedy bix apart from number one i just love chocolate weedy bix it's so nice it's chocolatey it's like weedy bix but with chocolate nah i never knew that i never knew that Number one has to be Frosties. I love Frosties. It's sugar and cornflakes, my two favourite things, basically. You know, I'm sitting munching on sugar right now, basically. This is just... Fuck. That's just the best sugar. thing about Frosties, it already has the sugar. So when you don't have to put cinnamon and sugar in your corn... Cinnamon. 
There you go, everyone. Enjoy your Christmas and enjoy the rest of the Chip Chip videos. This was thrown together last minute, so Lewis is probably one. He's probably a lot better. Like, I did not know this. It was good crack. I had good summer. But like, uh, shout outs to Joel R and everyone that took place in this video. Um, My heads aren't. Kitty, Adam, Justin, Danny, Darwin, and Hugo, and me. And then Jenny. I want to be in the middle. But Joel R, thank you for giving me this opportunity Move. to make a 12 days Jip Jip video. And as Jip Jip's number one favourite fan, I cannot wait to see more Jip Jips and the feature in a Jip Jip video. <laughs> But guys, make sure to like and subscribe to Joel R and the Jip Jip videos to continue to support Jip Jip. And hopefully I can feature another video, but I'll see you soon.